the Christmas season is here and you might be thinking what best to give your techie friend for the season of giving and this video might just be the answer hi guys I'm Sean and I do music and tech videos here on my channel since 2016 but originally I was more into doing music covers play along style using the original tracks so suffice to say that I always get copyright claims so I can't monetize my videos so I stepped into the world of tech because I love tech and decided to do some unboxings of random stuff that I buy for my channel or for my personal use and in today's video we are gonna be unboxing the gift I got from our office Christmas party held last December 14 but actually this item was not bought locally because the one who drew my name told me that he could not find this on FB marketplace on our city so we had a deal he gave me the budget that was agreed upon during our gift which was 500 pesos and I bought this from Shopee and the item came yesterday despite all the hassle I went through just to get this because this, this was supposed to be delivered on Wednesday but I could not wait because I wanted to be a streamer and I applied as a Genshin Impact streamer and we had a deadline to stream until December 27th so we went to the hub and got this ourselves or picked up this ourselves so before we begin if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon down there to not miss any of my future content be it tech and music and lastly let's roll the intro it's my videos reviewing this item this is supposed to be made of all metal unlike the previous versions of the VHS sound card which is made of plastic and the buttons are made of rubber so let's set this aside for now other stuff inside is this user guide or user manual and here we have a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable which is good considering yes this is what's cool about this sound card because majority of the ports are now 3.5 millimeter Unlike the previous versions of the V8 and V8S where the connections for the accompaniment and mapping tracks are micro USB which is kind of a hassle and I've heard that those cables or cables rather 
snap very easily. So now we got two pairs of audio cables because we can do we can use two gadgets at the same time for live one and live two and accompaniment. And here is the USB charging cable or this can also be used if you want to connect your sound card to your computer for live streaming or recording or maybe if you have accompaniment or backing track from your laptop or PC. Now this is a newer version of the v 8 sound card. The previous version of this had three sliders here and no display. But this is a triple line display which will display the levels when you top or when there is input. It will flash here accordingly to your monitor, mic and your bucket trap. So now let's take a proper tour of this device in all its glory. So here we have the sound effects, sound effects buttons and here are controls like voice changer and such. So here and the good thing is the power button is now at the middle unlike previous versions of the sound card where the power button was I believe here on the topmost and we have seven knobs this one is for the mic volume Another big one is for the echo, and we have treble, bass, accompaniment. This is used if you want to connect your instrument or other devices to play your backing track. This will be the volume. And we have the record level which will be detriment to the loudness of the input that will be thrown into your audio recording and for the monitor this is for your monitoring headphone or earphones or whatever this will be the output level of your monitors and here on the back again we have two condenser mic 3.5 millimeter inputs and the next one is for headset connect your smartphone to your sound card and live to if you wish to use another smartphone say you want to shoot in a multicam angle like I always do on my cover videos and the last one is your micro USB charging port which is also used if you want to connect this sound card to your laptop or desktop computer so that's about it so we've reached the end of this video thank you for watching and unfortunately I have to cut this video short because some tests did not go my way I 
was doing some tests here. As you can see, I have the cables connected. And somehow, the internal play doesn't seem to work. Or maybe I understand it wrong. But when I play sound effects, it doesn't get recorded into my video. And the mic I'm testing also doesn't seem to be recorded so maybe I'm doing wrong I have to do some extensive research to make this work properly and I will get back to you with an in-depth demo video about this sound card but for now thank you for watching and again please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell down there and see you on my next video.